previously in a galaxy far, far away. Having landed aboard the Space Anomaly, our little friend made his way to find Narda. Meeting several different and interesting life forms, he purchased some useful blueprints and upgrades. Discovering he could call different ships to the Anomaly, he started scrapping and making some sweet units. His story continues. Man, these guys are persistent. I've only been in space for five minutes. Expecting it to be Nada again, I open the hailing channel. A hologram appears, the life form seems distressed, so I identify myself. They ask how I found their voice. I explain that I found a crashed ship, with their communication ID in the distressed beacon. They start babbling on about 16 of something being outside, but it doesn't make much sense. I should be used to this by now. I politely ask about the 16, but they just question that I don't know who I am, that something lied to them, to all of us. This must be Artemis. I need to find a way to help them, to boost their signal. I descend to Sobernam, at least this is a safe place to start my search. Locating a long distance transmitter, I land and make my way up to the platform. A glowing terminal with a raised platform stood before me. This must be the signal booster. Interacting with the glowing orb, I recharged the power condenser, and activated the holo terminus. I tune the device to Artemis frequency, and the device wears into action, projecting a much larger, interactive hologram on the platform behind. I approach Artemis Hologram. They ask if I am a dream, or if I am real. I confirm that I am real. They say they have been alone for a long time, and therefore, were having difficulties distinguishing dreams from reality. I ask them who they are, but they just smile at me through the hologram. They claim to be just like me, that they are a traveler of worlds. I ask them how they know? Instead of speaking, they transmit a vision containing a red star, and a fragile world. I don't understand. I see lifeforms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxy, I see myself, asleep in the crimson void. Then I hear the words. Anomaly detected. Designation, Traveler. Artemis says these words have haunted him since he awoke, that we are travelers discoverers of worlds. They state that I must have felt it too, from the moment I opened my eyes, I must have known that I was not like the others. They ask if I have the data log from the crashed ship. I mention Nada, but they don't seem to recognize the name. They plead with me to upload the data, so I connect my star nav, and upload the records including the ship's log. Artemis claims that much of their equipment is damaged, that they are alone, and on foot, Stranded on a sunless world. He says there is hope. They ask me to build signal boosters across the system, so we can triangulate my position. They can then find their way out. Agreeing with the plan, I jetpack off the tower. Remember, stairs are for losers. Fabricating a signal booster, I set it down and triangulate my first position. Jumping back in my ship, I head to the second potential signal booster position, on the planet Remora N14. I'm directed to a location, outside an abandoned old comms tower. Despite the colors on this planet being pretty, I don't want to stay around this place too long, as it gives me the creeps. I set down the signal booster and triangulate my second position. The strange atmosphere on this planet, makes the usual orange glow of the signal booster, appear a blue-purple color. Safely back in my ship, my star nav gives me the cords for the third position. Back on bloody sober nav. I swear this star nav is faulty, or just loves to mess me about. I close in on the location, another comms tower, but this one shows a life form. I head inside, where a little Gek, 
who must have been on his own for a long time, seems super excited to see me. Clearly not a lover of personal hygiene, he stinks. Noticing the look on my face, he quickly eats something. Muttering to himself words I don't understand, I suddenly hear a gurgle, and a delightful smell fills the room. The Gek seems very pleased with himself. I thank them with a token of carbon crystals. The Gek nods a thank you, but doesn't seem too pleased. The nice smell fades, so I quickly head back outside. Setting down the signal booster, I triangulate my final position. I head back into space, and turn on my broadcast receiver. Within minutes, I receive an incoming message from Artemis. He asks to locate another Hala Terminus, and upload the data I have gathered from the signal booster triangulation. Scanning the system, I locate a Hala Terminus. What a bloody surprise! It's back on the planet Remor N14. I head up to the terminal, and start the broadcast. Artemis appears before me again, asking if I have triangulated the position yet. Man, this guy is starting to get on my nip nips. They transmit some data. A star chart showing the skies around their location. Wait, is this in crayon? They say they have no functioning tech, so sketch the stars. Great, what do they expect me to do with this, pin it on the fridge? They say to find some locals to help match the star patterns, and send me the blueprints for a translation device, so I can understand the Gek better. Heading back out to space, I call the space anomaly, maybe Nada will be able to help? Jet packing up to their balcony, the look of despair is on their face. Nada says they saw a signal, and asks if I connect it with Artemis. I tell Nada all about Artemis, and that they do not remember Nada. Nada seems confused, and slightly sad at this news. They advise me to be cautious. I turn to Polo, asking them if they have any more information on Artemis. He's clearly been on the nip nip again, and fabricates some far fetched theory. Honestly, this guy is as mad as a box of frogs. With no more useful info, I head back to base. Maybe the answers will come, after a good night's sleep?